what are some of the most effective ways for nonprofits to engage their board members in building a major donor pipeline? Well, um, that's everyone's goal is to get your board energized and involved. And I can tell you one of the best ways to do it is by screening. If you put a list of seven or 800 names, and it's not a hard number to reach, of people who are, who are electronically screened for wealth and capacity, who sit on boards of like organizations, their names are published in annual reports as top donors in your community. I'll give you a quick story where I was, okay. I was campaign counsel for the Miami Cancer Institute, and they had a, they had a partnership with Memorial Sloan Kettering, but fundraising was a free for all. There were no restrictions. Well, Memorial Sloan Kettering published the names of, a, of all their donors of 100,000 plus on their website. So I, <laughs> I, copied, I copied all those names, right? Thinking that some of these people own a home in South Florida, uh -huh. no doubt. They're wealthy, they're philanthropic, and they give to cancer. Well, wouldn't you know it? I showed that list to 150 people, doctors, volunteers, and this and that. We came up with dozens of of people linked to the Miami Cancer Institute who fit that profile from Memorial Sloan Kettering and have a and, and they live in South Florida. Right. It's the same principle. Right. So getting your board involved with looking at lists and lists of people will also stimulate their thinking of why isn't Mary Smith on this list? Yeah. And they're yeah. going to have their own names. And once and then finally, when you build this map of relationships, you can go back and say, you know, Shay, you you put a three next to these five names. Let's sit down and talk about what you know about these five people who I know are wealthy, who you know, and may be willing to have a discovery visit. That's how you get your board involved. 